Hello and welcome to exercise 2 of genetic databases and online molecular gen genetic tools. I will be walking you through exercise 2 which is to find an appropriate website and generate a set of primers I'll, and using the default settings provided. <coughs> I'll be using the gene I used in exercise 1 propriomelanocortin to uh, conduct to form the primers for. Firstly, we need to find an appropriate website to generate the primers. <coughs> now, an, uh, an appropriate website is Primer 3 here, which I have listed in the, um, in the web links above the actual exercises. Upon clicking upon Primer 3, it will take you to the website where it asks you to paste a source sequence in a 5 prime to 3 prime string of A, C, G, T's and obviously N's for um, nucleotides which could be either of the base pairs listed. We are simply just generating a um, primers. Therefore we need the uh, data, we need the source. We, I'm, I am using the um, gene POMC. As you can see you have to uh, look at my desktop for a minute while I open up the exercise one which had the original G uh, DNA sequence for POMC as you can see I am selecting it copying it and will be pasting it into Primer 3 now Primer 3 can recognize data in that format as you can see, Primer 3 has lots of different settings which you can manipulate and that will be evident in Exercise 3. For this situation, we are just using uh, the default settings provided. But it is essential that, that we um, name our output. So, upon naming it and giving it a sequence identification, we click Pick Primers. As you can see here, Primer 3 has generated an output and it shows us oligotides, their start location, the length, how long the, the how many base pairs length it is, the annealing temperature, the GC content, any uh, and three prime is the three prime uh, complementarity ability of the uh, sequence to form primer dimers or to self anneal, and any uh, if my memory serves me correctly is I'll leave that for you to uh, work out yourself but it is on the uh, answer page as you can see uh, the primer 3 has produced a the um, primers and via the uh, forward primers there and the reverse primers you can notice them there upon the sequence that I've entered as you can see here there's placed a key down there with additional oligotides So, it is always important to keep as many results as possible, so it is best to select the whole data and copy it into a Word document so you can keep it for further use, as you can see here. I hope this has assisted you in uh, locating a, um, a primer construction website and for just running a DNA sequence and generating primers based on the default settings on Primer 3. Tune in for the next exercise where I will exercise three, where we will uh, mess around with the uh, parameters of GC content, uh, melting and primer annealing temperature, and primer length. Hope to see you then. Bye.